Sports to the Bone family. Blessings, 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 my viewers and subscribers. Yes, man, we have made it to the end of another work week. Just want to say a shout out to all my viewers and my subscribers. Shout out to you all. Thanks for the continued support. Yeah, man, gonna go straight into it now, my peeps. So, a couple of stories I want to share with you in this one. So, we see where earlier today CWI um, made a posting. Uh, giving us some information, some updated information on that UAE uh, series that we're going to have. Those three ODI games that we're going to play against UAE. So we're going to take a look at that. Plus, I am also going to share some information that selector Desmond Haynes had to say about Kevin Sinclair. And we also have the man of the match, Jair McAllister, giving his opinion and what it's like to play, you know, are giving his viewpoint on what, what it was like going out there and um, going up against Bangladesh A. So just give a listening ear and make sure you give me your feedback in the comment section. All right, so let us kick things off and I'm taking this one from Sportsmax here. The headline says West Indies ODI series against the UAE to start a day earlier on the 4th of June. So instead of the 5th of June, they will start, the, um, the, the first game will be played on the 4th of June. Let's go down it, in it and see what they are saying. So the article starts and it says, The three-match ODI series between the UAE and the West Indies will now begin a day earlier with the two teams playing the opener on Sunday the 4th of June. Right? That is what they are saying. They say the first match was originally scheduled for a Monday the 5th. Uh, the West Indies men's team will arrive in Dubai on Thursday, the 1st of June. So on June 1st, they will arrive and then they will get themselves ready for the first game. The second match, as I would have indicated the other day, will be played on um, the Tuesday, the 6th of June. And the third and final will be played on the Friday, which is the 9th of June. All three, uh, day, uh, based on what they are saying, all three games are day and night. And will start at 4.30 p.m. with the toss at 4 p.m. at the iconic um, Sharjah Cricket Stadium. Right, so that is what they are saying. Both teams will then depart to Zimbabwe as they will take part in the World Cup qualifiers, you know, which will begin on the 18th of June. You know, and uh, as you know, that, that is to try and get qualification for the ICC um, ODI World Cup. Just to remind you of the squad that uh, Desmond Haynes and his team selected. Uh, they have She Hope, the captain, Brandon King, vice captain, Alec Arthanes, uh, Shamar Brooks, Yannick Karaya, Casey Carty, Rustin Chase, Dominic Drakes, uh, Kevam Hodge, Akeem Jordan, Gudikish Moti, Kimo Paul, Raymond Reefer, Odin Smith, and Devon Thomas. So those are the guys that have been selected to play those three ODI games against the UAE. So, you know, we're definitely wishing them all the best and we're gonna continue to monitor everything to make sure that um, if there's any updated changes or any updates, I can um, let you guys, uh, you know, know, know what it is saying. All right, next thing now, sticking with our selector, Desmond Haynes. He was asked a question in the press conference that they had a, a couple days ago about Kevin Sinclair and why he wasn't selected. We, we, we see Kevin Sinclair putting in the work over the last couple of seasons. Um, he was especially good in the 4D Regional Championship this time around and he did pretty well in the West, um, in the, in the Tri-Series, the Headley Weeks Tri-Series. You understand, not only with ball but with bat also. And in doing all of that, he was not able to secure a selection. Remember not, he would have proven himself in the red ball format this time around. But remember, um, Kevin Sinclair is known to be a good white ball bowler. You understand? So, you know, some people are saying based off that form, they could give him a look in and, you know, get give him the opportunity to, to, to play. Um... You know, it's 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 really strange, my viewers and subscribers. That's all I can say. You know, because we see a couple of people getting the opportunity for the World Cup qualifiers that 
I, I'm not too sure what they would have done to get that in. So let me just give you what Desmond Haynes had to say about um about about Kevin Sinclair. This is him right here. Um, we were, we are very impressed with his bowling. That's Kevin Sinclair. We are very impressed with his bowling. He has improved tremendously, and we are mostly Im um, impressed with his batting. This man Haynes is saying that this guy, um, you know, played so he played extremely well in the four-day regional competition, and he was able to take that form over into the tri-series, right? So Desmond Haynes also went on to say that he's asking Kevin Sinclair alongside his coaches to not only let him focus on his bowling, but also to um, look at him as somebody that could be a frontline batsman based on how he looked in, you know, in the last season, in the last um you know red ball tournament there so he's saying that they are so impressed with him that they are thinking he the coaches should look at him for 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 the for uh, for a top line um top order batting position right they are so impressed with his bowling so impressed with his batting and you know they are still not 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 <laughs> you went on to say that um it it you know all of this would be beneficial not only for guyana but also for cricket uh, for West Indies cricket so you know Kevin Sinclair I guess is the next all-rounder um, start off as a bowler and now going to probably be a frontline batsman based on what Desmond Haynes is saying um, what, I, what I will say is this Kevin Sinclair did enough work in the 4 day championship and the tri-series to, 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 to get a look at you understand um, we see people continuously getting selected and they talk about they can bowl spin and they can um they can use the batter they can they can hold up an end with the bat well if that was what was keeping Sinclair out of the team as a spinner I don't know he, he, he has he, you know he did some work with the bat and he's always there and there about with the ball so I'm not too sure what what, what, what they're gonna say no you understand um but but you know I am always one for, for, for rewarding performance, you know, so let us see how, how Kevin Sinclair will be able to, to cope and, uh, you know, whether he's going he's gonna to continue performing like this. And uh, finally, 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 uh, the man of the match, Jair McAllister, um, he did a little interview after the, you know, I think that was before the fourth day's play and he was saying that, you know, he was really nervous when he went out there to start bowling you know but he was happy to put his team in a good position it was all about just going out there and getting on top of the conditions you know he was saying that he was surprised how grassy the area was but um you know he had to do the hard work he was able to do the hard work and you know was able to get his team in a good position and it so happened that he picked up the man of the match award as the two teams played out to a draw so those are the stories making it into this uh, video. Gonna leave it right here for now and we'll touch base again. Big up.